Colorado's weather changes in a flash. From 60s and sunny to big fat flakes falling tonight. Rain quickly changing over to snow and a lot of it expected tonight. Set your alarm early. Chief Meteorologist Mike Nelson has extended the first alert action day through tomorrow morning. Denver 7 starts right now. Good evening. Thank you very much for joining us tonight. I'm Shannon Ogg. And I'm Ann Trujillo, and we want to show you the mess tonight on I-70 at mm. Floyd Hill. CDOT shut down the interstate there just within the past 90 minutes. And we're next. Mm. Radar shows a lot of action right now over the metro. And before we get to Mike, let's take you outside, give you another look. Denver 7's Liz Gilardi is live off I-25 in Lone Tree. And Liz, the rain switched to snow in just the past couple of hours. You know, it did probably just within the past two hours. I mean, I cannot believe this. The snow is really coming down here near I-25 and Arapahoe Road. You know, we've been monitoring the temperature because as you said, that rain turned to snow. That can make for an interesting commute tomorrow morning. We have this uh, temperature gauge set off. It's already covered in snow. So let me brush it off here. And you can see it's right around that freezing point. So that's what you're really going to have to watch out for, especially tomorrow morning on the road. So let's get on over to I-25. And as you can see, there's that sheen on the roads. That is not good. That means things could turn icy pretty quick. CDOT is out, but they told me they haven't been able to pre-treat the roads. So really, they're just trying to keep up with this storm, and it could make for an interesting morning commute. Reporting live, Liz Gilardi, Denver South. Yeah, be safe out there, Liz. Thank you. So to see exactly what's heading our way, just look to the mountains. Tonight, CDOT has traction laws in place on I-70, starting at C-470 and also Highway 285. And so this means all vehicles must have four-wheel drive, snow tires, or some other type of traction device like chains or auto socks. They're also close closures on I-70 and US-6 because of multiple spin-outs. Let's get over to our chief to walk us through those critical overnight hours, Mike. Big changes in a big hurry. Yeah. The rain pretty much all over to snow now. And we have some pretty dark bands out toward DIA showing the heavier bands of snow. Let me show you a loop of the radar over the last several hours. This is what it's looked like as the storm has been building along the front range. Started out with a fair amount of rain by about 6 o'clock to 8 o'clock, changing over to snow, and that's the current. Right now, a good band of snow across much of the Denver area. The road surfaces are still wet enough and warm enough that at least in the metro, Roads are in still pretty good shape, but let me take you hour by hour overnight tonight. Strong north northeast winds coming in through the midnight hour. The heaviest snows Denver to the south, much lighter by midnight to about 3 a.m. up toward Fort Collins and Greeley. I don't think we have nearly the problems on the north side of the metro area by morning, but you can see even by 6 a.m. snowing down to the southeast. And so the upshot is downtown and north. It'll be partly cloudy with wet roads. Watch out for icy spots and stretches, mainly on ramps. It'll still be snowing mountains and foothills. Lots of slick roads and very slow conditions expected for early tomorrow morning.